but they still come back. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I'm talking yes. about? The yeah. people that never leave happy? Yeah. yeah. And they still come back Why? to you? That's Marsha. You yes. raise your prices, and either they stay and they complain about that, and they still come back to you, or they go somewhere else. Well, I made that comment in on the, on the price freeze slide. Well, we talked about it earlier that, that people that you don't enjoy serving, yeah, you price. don't enjoy them a little less when they pay more. That helps insulate you against it. But I always tell my story of Marsha. Marsha was a client who always complained. Very true story. There's really a Marsha. Marsha would come into the shop. How are you today? I'm terrible. How do you want your hair cut today? It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? You always cut it bad. I never like it. <laughs> and I would cut Marsha's hair. And every time I cut her hair, she didn't like it. She complained, bitched a blue streak. Well, <laughs> enough was enough. So one day when Marsha came in, she sat down in my chair, and I said to her, Marsha, today's a very special day. She said, what do you mean? I said, today's the last day I'm ever going to cut your hair. She said, what do you mean? I said, well, you're never happy. And it's so important to me that you're happy that here's the deal. Next haircut, three choices. Choice number one is, I will pick any member of my team, and I will pay for them to cut your hair because I want you to be happy. Choice number two is you can pick any member of my team and I will pay for them to cut your hair because I want you to be happy. And choice number three is you can pick any hair cutter at any salon in the greater Chicago <laughs> metropolitan area. I will call on the telephone, I will make you an appointment and I will pay for it with my personal credit card because I want you to be happy. Wait, it ain't over yet. Thank you, don't clap yet. And Marcia says, whatever, just cut my hair. So I cut Marcia's hair and she leaves. She's gone. <coughs> Five weeks later, she appears in the appointment book. I call her up on the telephone. I said, Marcia, there's some kind of problem. She said, what's the problem? I said, there's a mistake. She said, what's the mistake? I said, you're in my book. She said, I'm coming in to get a haircut. I said, no, 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 no. I don't cut your hair anymore. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Marcia says, oh, no, you have to cut my hair. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have to cut your hair. Now you have to remember, I cut her husband, and I cut her mom, and I cut her sister, and I cut her two kids. I cut the whole family. To be ostracized by the local cosmetologist would socially be a very bad thing. <laughs> so Marcia says, well, you got to cut my hair. And I said, well, Marcia, I can cut your hair, but if I cut your hair, there's going to be rules. <laughs> rules? <laughs> what kind of rules? I said, real simple. When you walk in, you say hello. When I'm done cutting your hair, you say thank you and you say goodbye. And in between hello and goodbye, you're not allowed to say anything else. <laughs> and Marcia says to me, well, I'm coming in tomorrow. I hung up the phone. I cut Marcia's hair for 10 more years. And I never had a problem with Marcia ever, ever again. There are people who want to bitch at the dry cleaner, at the bakery, at the restaurant, at the grocery store, and at the cosmetologist. And you know what, as soon as, it, you know, if you've ever had a small child in your house, boundaries, you gotta draw a line in the sand. Everybody likes to know where the limit is. Some people will push, but once they know where the limit is, they won't cross. She needed to know where the boundary was. Once we established boundaries, Marshall was not a problem. She's a good client, she paid well, she tipped well, and she sent her friends. But we just had to get rid of the bitch. But it wasn't gonna happen until somebody took the initiative. Yeah, sometimes it has to happen that way. You gotta fire a client. And sometimes they'll resist. And, and, and I don't believe in raising one client's prices, we raise them all, but I've heard stories of people just taking the problem client and just jacking them off. And they keep coming back. Huh?